Hi! So today we're going to focus on Valentine's Day because it is such a nice holiday. It's cute and it's all about love, whether you love your friends, your family, or your significant other. So we're going to do three different looks. One's for when you're going out with your friends and you just want a pop of color. And then we'll do a nice flirty look if you're going on a date. Or we'll do a sexy bombshell look, okay? So let's get started with our first look. It's going to be a fun, colorful look. So we're going to start off with the eyes. And I'm going to prime them with Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer. And sorry for my voice, I have a little bit of a cold. So for our eyeshadow today, we're going with Urban Decay. Now this is the palette I got a few years ago. It's their book of shadows. It's really fun. It's exciting. And the first color I'm going to use is Bordello. So it's a light purple. It's very soft, very shimmery. It's a nice base color for our lid today. Next, we're going to go in with Last Call, so it's a little bit darker. It's still purple. It has more of a mauve pink tone to it. And this one we're going to apply right up into the crease and really blend that out. Give the eye a lot of definition first, though. Next, we're going to go in with Uzi, so it's a really sparkly silver shade. We're going to use the blending brush for that and apply that right in the inner corner and up and around the edges too below the brow. And you really, really want to blend this all in together so it's a nice soft look. And I'm going to go in with Last Call again. That's that darker purple and we're going to just Increase the color a little more in that crease there. I'm going to go in with the Sephora liner. It's the flashy silver shade. So we're really going to layer that up underneath and a little bit in the inner corner on the top lid as well. And then we're going to go back with Uzi, the sparkly silver sheet, and just layer that on top. Just to give the eyes a little bit more brightening and a little bit more sparkle too. Now the Buxom liner, it's in the shade Call Me, so it's their black. And we're going to do that in the waterline up top. And next, the mascara, it's their Real by Benefit. So it's going to separate each lash and really bring it up. This is one of my favorite mascaras. And it really does give a little bit more to the look. You want to make sure you're getting the bottom ones as well. And we're going to go back with that Buxom liner and just do... A line up top as close to the lash line as you can. Make it a little bit thicker on the outer corner. And then our eye is complete. Now we're going in with blush. This is the e.l.f. brand. It's Passion Pink, so it's a very bright, matte pink. It's really vibrant. It's really fun. And for the lips, we want to go with something fun. So I have Marc Jacobs. It's their lip lacquer. And this is the full coverage one. It's in Boom Boom. So it's a nice hot pink. A little bit of a fuchsia hint to it. It's really pretty and really shiny too. And our look is complete. So this is our first look. This is the fun going out with your friends. You want a little bit of a color. And next we're going to go on to a softer, a little bit more flirty look too. 
So I have my eyes primed already, and now I'm going in with the Makeup Forever, their Aqua Shadow in 30E. So it's a light champagne shimmery color. And then with the Naked 3 palette, we're going to start off with Burnout. So it's a light pink. We're just going to go right in the lid of the eye for our base color. And then with the blending brush, we're going to go in with Liar, so it's a little bit darker. It's more of a brown shade. We're going to go right in the crease. With really soft edges, too. We want to be nice and soft with this look. And then we're going to put Strange, which is the lightest shade in the palette. We're going to put that right around the edges and just blend it so it's a nice soft look and with an angled liner brush we're going to go in with dark side so that's a darker brown shade and we're going to use that as a liner so just lay that up right along the lash line and extend it out into a little bit of a wing too And you do want to bring a little bit underneath as well. And then go back with the blending brush and really soften up that line too. So it gives it a nice smoky feel to it. And I'm going in with Lancome's Doll Lash Mascara. So this one's going to give us a nice curl and a nice soft look too. So for the lips, we do want to stick to a nice neutral shade as well. This one is Buxom Lip Color Amsterdam, so it's very neutral and it gives you a little bit of color. And I'm going to go over that with a gloss by Revlon, and this one is called Bellini, so it's just going to give a little bit of a shine. And this is our nice, soft, flirty look. It's all done. And the third is our bombshell. So we start, as always, by priming the eyes. Now, since this look is a little bit more dramatic, we're going to start off with the Gel Liner by Maybelline. And we want a really thin brush for this. So this is a double-ended brush that I got from Tarte. And we're going to start by lining this up right along your nose, just so you can see how far your wing goes out. And you want to connect that right along the lash line. So a really thin line. And then you can connect the tail of the wing there. And just bring it down into a triangle. And then you want to bring the color right up into the crease too. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to smoke this out. But you do want to have a little bit of dark color in that crease. And I'm just going to start to smoke it out with the other end of my brush. Just to soften up the, the crease area. Not the line along the lashes. We just want to keep that nice and dark. You could smooth it out too, but we are going to go over that again as well. And for the shadow, I'm going to start off with one of Urban Decay's shadows. Now this is their older packaging, and this one's called Honey. I don't know if they still have this shade, but it's um, a nice golden, almost yellow shade, and it has a a little bit of a shimmer, a lot of shimmer actually. Not any big hunks of glitter, but there is a shimmer to it. So we're going to lay this right in the lid on the inside of kind of like that shape we created with the eye. And you can go right over the liner too, because we are going to tidy that up at the end. Now I have Black Flame. It's a black shade by Sephora brand. And with the blending brush, I'm going to put that right in the crease, right on top of that dark line that we created there. And really blend that 
right into that gold that we have. And then I just cleaned off the brush and I'm just going to kind of smoke out the edges just so you don't have any harsh lines. And now I have the highlighter by Sephora. It's called Stardust. And I'm going to use that right on the inner corners and a little bit underneath too. And then I'm going to bring it right below the brow. Now I'm going to go back with that gel liner and just retrace that line I have so it's nice and sharp. And for my mascara for this look, I'm going with the Cobra by Lorac because it really gives me nice full lashes, which is definitely what we want with this bombshell look. So the shadow's complete. Now we're going in with Buxom eyeliner and we're going to line the waterline with this to the top and bottom. Now we're going to give the face a little bit of color. Now this is Lorac's Baked Bronzer. So I'm going to put a little bit of this right below the cheekbone there and really blend it in and then you want to do a little bit all over the contour as well. And for blush I'm using Narciss Orgasm because it gives you a nice natural glow with some shimmer. It's a little bit of a gold hint to it too. And then my Sephora highlight again, the Stardust. So we're doing that right above the blush. And then we'll put a little bit down the nose and on the forehead area as well. And you just want to really blend those all together so it's nice and seamless. And now for the red lip, we're going to start off with Makeup Forever's liner, and it's an 8C, so it's their true red. And I am going to line the entire lip with this. And on top of that, I'm using their Moulin Rouge shade. It's number 43, it's a satin finish. So it's a nice, true red. So there you go, you have three completely different looks, whether you're going out with your friends and you want to be a little fun, you're going to dinner or a movie and you need a flirty look or if you're going to a bar to see a cute drummer in a band and you want to be a little sexy, you can do whatever you want. So hopefully you enjoyed this and then I'll see you next week with my newest video.